Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. For the toiletries um, and what to pack for that for Hajj and Umrah, it's important that a Muslim stays clean um, and it is really emphasized in, in our deen. So starting off with the dental gear, I've got my toothpaste, uh, miswak, which is a big sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, um, a toothbrush and a floss. So here I've got my shower gear. So this is um, a two-in-one shampoo plus conditioner. Um, and here's a fragrance-free soap. So in the state of Ihram, if uh, there's an emergency and I and someone needs to use it, then it's advisable that you know you keep a fragrance-free soap. And I've also got a fragrance soap, which is um, just the Protex one. They generally have um, good antibacterial features in their soap, so that might be a good choice. <clears throat> Here I've got my moisturizer, so it's good to use this um, for dry skin and so on. Vaseline is really important, um, so in the state of Ihram you can cause um, rashes, so it's important to use this to avoid those. Uh, this is just some sunblock. And I've also got this um, lip therapy um, from the Vaseline company. And a lot of lip balms have a lot of chemicals in them. This one just has, um, you know, um, petroleum, uh, white petroleum, 100%. So that's literally the same as Vaseline, I guess. Now for the perfumes, I've got a deodorant, some other, and also um, some you know other which you can just spray um, and also for grooming just a, a simple shaver and a nail cutter 